Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Carol. We're both geologists at Utah State University. We're on a hike in our local Bear River Range, going to the tallest peak in the range, and uh, we're on our way up, we're almost there. But on the way down, we're gonna tell you a little bit about the geology. We're almost to the top of our hike, and uh, here we're looking to the north um, over these cute little glacial cirques. And the uh, second highest peak in the range over there is Double Top Peak. Am I kind of pointing at it? Yep. Right on. Mm -hmm. Behind me is Naomi Peak, and you might be able to see that there's some crude um, stratification to this mountainside, especially as you look towards that farther peak. I don't know if you can see this. It's July, and uh, the wildflowers are awesome. There's still little bits of snow and cornices, and there's tens of thousands of butterflies that are in these sort of streams going up the gullies and over the divides in the mountain range. Hey Carol, so is there uh, anything interesting in this Lake Town Dolomite? Yeah, actually it's bedded here. It's not bedded everywhere, but you can see these nice thin beds and a lot of stylolites in between them. And if you look hard enough, you will find a lot of different kinds of marine fossils. One of the most common fossils in this rock are crinoids, which are related to sand dollars of today. Aha, uh -huh, like this. I think that's a crinoid stem. Although most of this rock is sort of recrystallized. Well, we've, uh, we've hiked down most of the way and these ledges look different. Is this something different? Absolutely. This is uh, down in Ordovician time now. And this is the topmost Ordovician unit in the Cache Valley area. It's called the Fish Haven Dolomite. And it kind of packages different. Well, 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 check out these things. Yeah, those are great. Those are nautiloids, and they are very closely related to modern squid. Well, these are big ones. Thank goodness there's snow for the dog. We're almost to the end of the hike. There's Tony Grove Lake and these distinctive ledges of our third and last unit, the Swan Peak Formation. These Swan Peak ledges are really orange. Yeah, they're a sandstone and they're riddled with trace fossils, especially lower down section. Here near the trailhead are these awesome trace fossils known as Fucoids. Geologists originally thought maybe these were plant fossils. Wildflowers. Sweet. Here we are at the trailhead. Although augmented by a dike now, Tony Grove Lake is a moraine lake. It's dammed behind a glacial moraine. 